Hey up viewer, it's the man once described by Ian St John as a great goalkeeper, only to discover that he called every other goalkeeper on that particular football course the same thing. Still stings. James Peck here at All Hallows in Ortsall as Wheatley take on Ortsall Bryden in the Bassett Law Championship. Well if you can't see, you might be able to hear that uh, we've got Callum Rutherford back in the team today. Um, and as we're talking now, we haven't even bowled a ball yet and it's starting to rain a little heavier as Jordan marks out his run up. And with that, the covers are coming on. <laughs> Quickest rain break I've ever seen. Um, hopefully we'll be back with you shortly. Well, after a solid hour of uh, waiting, we might be having some cricket. We've got uh, Jordan Niles ready to open the bowling for Wheatley. Will Shaw, ex-Wheatley player, opening the batting for Bryden. And it's uh, a reduced match now, 41 overs a side. And those are the first runs for also Bryden off the second ball of the match. And it's gone down for four. Oh, it's a big appeal and it's been turned down. So we're very lucky on Wheatley TV today to be joined by also Bryden talisman, Wayne Leatherland. How are you doing, Wayne? Yeah, good, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, not bad, mate. How are, how are things uh, in this neck of the woods? Uh, yeah, play inside. We've deplete, depleted this week. Uh, the twos are off for COVID, unfortunately. We've got a few that came into contact with various people, including my wife. My wife's got oh, COVID no. at the minute. Uh, with, I'm double testing every day. Good grief. Just enjoying a, a socially distanced chat with yourself, really. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get any play today with well, the forecast. I, have to, I was with you. I think after an hour of waiting, it looked like we were set in for the day. But the sun is trying to come out at the moment. Um, so how's the fishing going, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, restricted at the moment due to school holidays, unfortunately. Uh, kids aren't as keen as I am at it. They, <laughs> they prefer their, uh, their, their cricket or whatever. <laughs> Henry uh, is opening the uh, bowling at the far end. Uh, we do have Cal Rutherford in the team, as I mentioned earlier. He's standing at uh, first slip. I don't know what state his shoulder's in, so we'll have to uh, see. But it's at the moment, it's Henry and George opening the bowling. It's a learning curve for him. Yeah, indeed. Sure. It's a lovely extra cover drive that George is uh, going to chase down, hopefully. Oh, he's put in a dive. But I think that's gone for four. <laughs> That's been flicked away really well by Will Shaw for another four. I didn't think we were going to get any play. <laughs> no, the sun is finally out. Oh, Shawry. Uh, it's getting in the way here. I'm going to have to change angles. Oh, that's a super, super ball from Jordan. Oh, that has been flayed through the offside for four more. I think you've. Uh, oh, that is a lovely shot. Quite dismissive. Really, you know, brought something to the league. I think. Oh, it's an edge from Wayne Spoon. It's going to come down here. Jordan's herring after it. He stopped it brilliantly with his foot, and they're going to come back for two. Well fielded, young man. Oh, that's gone for four buys. I think. It's lovely when, when they come over and they settle and, you know, they part of the Oh, that's another whatever. glorious shot from Shorey. That's four runs. Let's hope they've got it wrong. <laughs> Never felt cold. <laughs> oh, that's a full ball and that's been flayed down for four more. So no 11 dropped off here that were simple catches. Oh, year. and he's bowled him. And Shorey's enterprising knock has come to an end. What button you got, like? Uh, and if Al McLeod's coming in at three, uh... oh dear, that's an inside edge, but it's um, only going to be one. Oh, and I've missed a run out. <laughs> um, but a brilliant piece of fielding by Jordan Niles. He's had a very good couple of deliveries there. Um, and that is the end of Wayne Spooner. And I do apologise, George. I think I just have got, might have got the end of that. <laughs> no, it sucks and then there, yeah. Yeah, like, 
forced. They weren't. They didn't need to go for two at this stage, though. The scoreboards. Yeah. So Bryden skipper Nick Legg comes in at number four. Oh, and uh, that was a flirty start. I'm not going to get too warm. Oh dear. Yeah, there's definitely a distinct, um, yeah, a bit bowling day feel to it. A bit dew on the surface, I would think. That's right. You, I have to say, would be an absolute nightmare to face in conditions like this, Wayne. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely stuff from Jordan. All would be slowable because they were the only ones that people could get near. <laughs> it's a big appeal, that's going down. Oh, that's lovely bowling from Henry. Oh, again, lovely stuff. Obviously, it was weather affected. Yeah. Oh, and Jordan has bowled him. And Alec McLeod goes. 39 off his first three overs. Be great. And Fernando got hold of him a bit. Well, the robust figure of uh, John A. Tomlinson has come out to bat for Bryden, and they're going to need every year of his experience here to uh, just get uh, back into this game. It's 53 for three. We haven't even had 10 overs yet. It's been cut away by Nick Legg, only out into the covers where it's fielded by Tommy, another ex Bryden player. Oh, and that's another bowl for Jordan. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> Mr. Lopes. Then he went and bowled him. Oh, and he's bowled him again. First ball, Jordan's on a hat trick and five wickets down. And Jordan's been involved in all five. Oh, and the hatchery ball was punched out brilliantly. For four. Oh, that's lovely bowling. Oh, that's too much the other way, and that's gone for four. Catch. That's over the top, and that's another four. It's just boundaries and wickets at the moment. Right, I am going to film this. <laughs> George's going to bowl it back in. I think they've learned not to run on his arm, and it's only a single. Yeah, thumbs on the weekly basis. Of course. That's been played out brilliantly for four. And in, in true oh. swing fashion, one's left handed and one's right handed. <laughs> of course, just to be awkward. That's yeah. got out for another boundary. Oh, that's nicely bowled. Well oh. Good enough. No. You know, we've, 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 I, you're right. Clipped away, just passes, and that's four. Every year we will we can get out there. <laughs> oh, that's bounced over Eddie's dive and it's travelling out towards the boundary and it's four. So this match has been like a highlights package on its own so far. I've barely had to cut anything out. It's been absolutely brilliant stuff and we've got Jamie Sizer coming on for Henry Patterson at the top end. Oh, that's gone straight to Alex Anger, who takes it at backward point, and that's sixth wicket. This is Ryan making this one. Oh, that's an edge, and that's four. Oh, Jordan's got the stare out. Alex has just started. That's played out by Ryan Makings and that is four. Oh, that's a massive insider. It's just gone down to Jordan. That's another edge, but would have gone to second slip, I would have thought, but that's again gone down to Jordan, this time at third man for another single. So the hundreds come up for Bryden, 100 for six. That's been smashed out through extra cover for four more. 
So we've got a change of pace. We've got Munch coming on to bowl his off spin. Now, a man who uh, liked to play against off spin was uh, Kevin Peterson, and I understand he's he played a match here, didn't he, Wayne? Yeah, he uh, played his first game on English soil down here. Uh, arrived on the Friday night. Uh, in those days, I think Brighton were in the in the Premier League, and your professional then was a loan player from Notts. He got him free of charge to give him cricket, so Notts sent him down here to see what he was like. Uh, knocked a quick 150 off, <laughs> off not many, and took a three for, uh, including put uh, as part of his bat, and he put it over the houses at the over the back, at the back here. And, Which, just to put in perspective for viewers, is um, over the boundary this side, there's a road behind us, as you might be able to hear, Ollerton Road, and then there's a row of houses set back. Um, so that's quite a, quite a distance. <laughs> yeah, uh, never saw him again, <laughs> as, as you do. Uh, and even in those days, he was a character. They had to sort of wake, wake him up to go out to bat. Because I think he just literally landed in the country. He was uh, not an English time yet. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, that's it, specialist. He wasn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't a batsman. Oh, that's been punched through extra cover for four more. Oh, that's just been flicked away, and that's four more. Pinch for smart, you gotta do it. They're probably the better players. Oh, that's out. So Mad Dog and Munch have uh, derailed that promising partnership. The scores now 123 for seven. That's been swept away very nicely for four runs. What a logie! Cut out down to the wide third man boundary for four. That's been punched on the bounce to Tom at short cover. No run. That's uppish as well, but uh, it's well fielded by Eddie. No run. So Sizzler has eschewed the need for a third man. Jordan's come up into second slip position. 15 overs ago, Bryden are on 132 for seven. He's given himself a chance. That's it. So we've got Tongi coming on at the top end with some off spin. Oh, oh. Oh, is that another stumping from Dog? No, says the umpire. Can't believe Tongi's come on to bowl some off spin. It's my job at the club to bowl inconsistent off spin. Tongi, back off. That's been flicked away. Three square leg for four. Lovely shot. That's been swatted for six. That's gone straight up in the air. It's a steepler, and it's been caught by Jamie Sizer. Of course it has. Well, Nathan Paul's getting a well-deserved round of applause as he walks off the uh, field. That's a, a really good knock, showed some real application, and has uh, helped his side fight back from 50-odd for five to 154 for eight. The rain's just starting to fall again be a real shame if we don't finish this match. It's been very exciting straight from the off. That's edged and Tommy gets another one. Wheatley's 
premier inconsistent off spinner now. Tongi continues. Big appeal for LBW, much didn't turn around. It's been played straight to square leg. And <laughs> it's been given. So that ends Bryden's innings. Brilliant bowling and fielding as well from Jordan um, and the boys in general. Uh, they're putting a real shift today and hopefully it's going to be enough for us to win and hopefully this rain stays off. <laughs> oh viewer it's Pecky here and we had technical difficulties at the start of our innings. I know I'm as shocked as you are but the camera wasn't focusing properly and the footage is completely unwatchable. So um, I'm going to only going to show you the uh, wickets. We missed an absolutely blistering knock from Alex Anger but here's Tom getting out first. <laughs> Oh, that's an edge. And then this key moment. That is an absolutely massive six. <laughs> the owner of that car has got a nice red dint. Um, I hate to break it to uh, Alex Angel here, but um, it's his car. That's a huge swipe across the line and that's out. Um, Alex, how's your, how's your car, mate? Mm. It's alright. It's alright? Not a bad dent. It'll buff out. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Big appeal, and that's out. I might have sorted out the focus now, viewer. You're very lucky to have someone who's so technically proficient in charge of the camera. Are you laughing at me, Nick? I am laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, there's a quicker ball from Wayne Spooner, and it's not been given. So Wheatley are on 108 for three, 21 overs gone. Jake Wells comes back on. And George helps that down for four. So she was working from up there. So I think he's obviously in a beach bar. <laughs> oh, and George has been bold. That has come back, jagged back off the length. It's a lovely, lovely delivery. And that's four down. Down there when I yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got halfway along here and it stopped. Well, Some outside edge from Munch. Hey, back, Mush. And I looked at the fog. It's going to be comfy too. Started just. That's full toss. It's been battered over the top of short extra cover for four. Oh. It's been carved out, and that's going to be four. So we've got the uh, man of the moment, Jordan Niles, here with us. How are you doing, Jordan? I'm good. What about you? Yeah, not bad, mate. Uh, enjoyed your bowling earlier. It was uh, it was uh, an erratic spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not like you. Yeah, the run-up was a bit tough. Yeah. So uh, I was just trying to bowl lane and lengths, but yeah. Uh, it seemed to work. You were hitting the timbers quite regularly. That lovely piece of feeling that I missed. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> No oh. Yes, yeah, so Jordan, we've had a question from one of the viewers and they want to know where the extra U you in your <laughs> first name comes from, is that? You have to ask my mum. <laughs> I asked her where she put it there, but she said it's French, so... Oh, well, there you go. Oh, well, that would make sense. Yeah. Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. <laughs> no, there you go. <laughs> I asked her that myself. <laughs> oh, that's gone straight up in the air, but it's gone long and it's gone for four. Because my dad, my dad saw it, <laughs> we were laughing. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't really read the comments to be fair. No, I think you're probably right to do that. Um, but, but I have to say, 99.9% .9 of them are always positive. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah. So how how do you think this chase is going then, George? It's going great. Yeah. Um, I think the outfield is a bit fast. You just have to get bad on ball and it just flies. Yeah, it's uh, it's like that here. Yeah. So that's chopped down by Eddie into Gully. Um, so we're looking for an early finish so we can get back to the Kings. <laughs> <laughs> so they can drink, not me. <laughs> Ex Won't be partaking, not watching. Absolutely, yeah. Have you got used to the rain yet then, Jordan? Over here? Yeah. Well, this is probably the first day's rain, like consistently like this, probably, apart from my first game. 
Well, that's good. Um, you obviously brought the weather over with you. Uh, yeah, what yeah. sort of temperatures would you usually be experiencing in Barbados at this time of year? Uh, anything around 30 <laughs> when the sun is out. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like it's probably like 40 though. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine. So yeah, is this be, it must have taken some getting used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah, yeah. 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 you had the heating on in Jimmy's no, house? No, well, sometimes. <laughs> One day they, but I don't really like to turn it on so I can get accustomed to the cold. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's bounced straight over it. Mid offside, that was a dodgy bounce, and they've managed to come through for a single. Munch is on 49 here. He punches out, and that's his half century, his first since Bawtree. In the third match of the season, he's batted really well. It's an appeal, but uh, not out. Lovely bit of placement by Eddie. That's gone for four. What a shot. That is an absolutely magnificent cover drive. Eight to win for Wheatley. And they're going to go for a quick single here. Ooh, and they just about make it. Six to win for Wheatley. Eddie tries to do that in one shot and instead it goes down for four buys. What uh, song does your ice cream band play where you are? Well, ours is Robin Hood, or rather appropriately. That's been smashed out by Eddie to the cover boundary fielder. And that's one and the scores are level. That's been smashed out by Eddie and that's going to go for four and weekly win. Well, this topsy-turvy, bonkers, consistently inconsistent uh, season for Wheatley continues. Our last six results read, lost one, lost one, lost one. And this has been a really great victory. Well, Munch is leading he and Eddie off the field. Um, a fantastic knock from him. Really composed and calm. And Wheatley have emerged victorious thanks so much for watching us on the wheelie tv we hope to catch you next week and all best